I've got to show you a quick demonstration before we get these safety tips. I'm here with Captain Brian Ribble from the Sheridan Fire Department. You hang on to the microphone for just a second. This is a spore called Lycopodium, and this is a demonstration we do for kids often. By itself, it doesn't catch on fire, but once we get it around oxygen like this, we get a nice flame out of it. But by its, is that uh, kind of amazing? So, and the secret I'm told is oxygen, and that's exactly what happens with trees. So I'll hang on to this and trade with us. First of all, thanks for joining us this early in Thank the morning. You. Thank all right, so show me how the branch is similar to the spores. Well, the branch is similar in the fact that it has a lot of surface area to it. So, by expanding fire or having fire and oxygen come to it, it's going to cause the branch to catch on fire. Let me show you a little example here. And so the, the real key here is that uh, as soon as this starts to dry sure. out, we see that uh, it starts to catch on fire fairly easily. And you've done the entire thing with a tree inside, is that correct? Absolutely. All right, Absolutely. so we're going to step inside. This is the Metro Fire Training Center, correct? Metro Fire Training Center is for Inglewood, Littleton, Sheridan practice uh, firefighting techniques, and it's a safe building. We can do something like okay, this. Okay, so let's go inside here real fast and take a look here. Uh, it's just covered in soot here from all of your training, and here is the tree that's all set up, and you're ready with some presents underneath, correct? Yeah, we just try to make it look as realistic as possible, and it's just a regular Christmas tree we bought down at a local vendor, and uh, we're going to see what happens if uh, we expose a little fire to it. Okay, I'm going to step out of here and get out of Dennis's way. And so you can actually see now the tree taking off there as we're backing out of the building. Absolutely. We lost one of our cables, but in just a very, very short period of time, you can see how the tree goes up. So the secret here is we've got to keep that tree hydrated, correct? Keep, keep the tree hydrated you want to make sure if it starts to dry out that you get out of the house as soon as possible some of the things you're worried about is broken or frayed electrical lines on the tree that would also cause a spark to cause the tree to catch absolutely yikes well they do go up fast you got to be really really careful for more on this in a video clip just check uh, steve spangler icon on our morning show webpage at 9news.com